Well, it may be an uneventful time here. Uh, I, the, the Loose Deuce server has gone early war. We're on plane set one, which is just my favorite, my favorite thing. But perhaps I'm alone <laughs> in that because nobody's here. Uh, but, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. No sir. No sir. We're gonna load up with bombs. We're gonna load up with. Bombs and armor piercing. Ammo. Uh, skip the rockets, but I'm thinking this right there. Seems like a good loadout. Put that skin. Cut my fuel a bit. And we'll take that. I'd be curious to see if anybody joins. I mean, really, the reason... Uh, to even do this by myself is just to make make the point early war is super fun and you can't you can't get it everywhere all the time so I want to take it while I can alright Basically, all I've got to do here is fly west. I'm probably going to focus artillery first, which is a little further west. Bring that tail wheel around. Lock it back up for taking runway. There we go. Throttling up and let's go. Back to 20, and we'll bring the um, engine power down to 11. I don't remember what is appropriate in this plane, to be honest. Otherwise, we'll just monitor temps, which are looking quite cool right now. Let's see what we can get away with. Trim, trim those, those up a bit. There we go. Back. We'll just see how she rides. And look for target. All right, we want to get on. There we go, right there. Svetli Yar. Nice. AAA is going to be my uh, worst enemy here. Alright, that first town I think is that. We've got to go past that a little way. But we're not.
not going far. Bring the gun sight towards me. Make it a little bit easier once I get into uh, ground strafing mode here. So I've got some good cannons for taking out howitzers. Honestly, kind of nice knowing I don't really have to worry about getting jumped by planes. I can uh, take it a little easier, maybe. I'm trying to level out here. Is there a rudder trim in this guy? Not. Crosswind or something. Let's rudder against it manually. Now, what I do have to be careful of is that I get on the correct target. I think that river is basically the uh, the only river here, so and I'm going basically where that river runs into another river to the north. though without the threat of uh, death it's definitely not that exciting I mean I guess I could still die to the AAA but it's, uh, it's not very likely especially in an IL-2 if I do everything right I'm kind of thinking three bombs each way here to drop them kind of in rapid succession but uh, I've got two columns there. Alright, what I'm doing is trying to give my engine some cool air before I clam, clam it shut. And then I'm going to 
try to be careful about heat and also bring the mixture back a bit. Alright, I'm pretty well lined up. I think I'm going to go ahead and start sealing up for the uh, attack here. Canopy. Armored radiator. Yep, we are good. Alignment is good. Let's get our coordination good. Heading is good. Alright, probably about to get lit up by uh, AAA here. But let's see how we go. I got six bombs and I'm thinking all six of them are going to go real nicely. Right in here. Well, yeah, we'll throw the three off. One, two, three. Oh yeah, I can't see. Bullets going all around, but I think I'm okay so far. Alright, let's try and bring it around and get her back on heading for round two. Yeah, there's a lot of bullets coming at me now. It's time to focus on AAA and howitzers. Maybe uh, AAA first, huh? Back. I'm 
line up a good run here. Let's see if I can get more than one. Oh yeah. down the middle. Pretty prime target. I guess there's two. Basically, I'm just going to keep this up until I run out of ammo. Got throttle. Get them lined up. I uh, do have to worry about the trees on the far end. out of cannon, so I think that makes it time to go home. I'll uh, go ahead and turn straight east here. target. There's a lot there. That must be Soviet troops. That's it there, saying 400. Oh, that's 
unstoppable. It's really not even fair. They had AAA, but it was pretty lousy AAA. <laughs> was like way overcompensating. I could do like this and their lead compensation would just skyrocket. cockpit interiors that could use a refresh. That's alright. Still like the plane. It's just not quite up to the snuff of the modules they put out nowadays. There is a spectator, interestingly enough. Back on throttle. Got a lot of speed to lose, actually, here. Before I come in. So it's not going to take long. I keep watching them. to keep her moving. Flare. Yeah, not real smooth, but it'll do. Some good work, <laughs> yeah. Nice. I'm really sort of inclined to do that again. I know it's kind of cheap, but uh, that's kind of what I'm feeling like. There's plenty of time to get competitive put the sweats on. I may, uh, take off. Well, eh. this thing in a while.
Now this was sort of a question of what can I do with these bombs I'm carrying? Really, I've got a pretty good bomb load. Just gotta deliver. Reminds me really of uh, the early days in Finnish. You know, it's not uncommon for me to get on on a Saturday morning. The only one. Didn't stay that way for long. Oh, Shamrock had to make a blog post about it. Ruin everything. Thunder Boys came over. Vulching and booming, zooming. No respect. I'm going to push a little farther north here, so let's go ahead and do that. Hoping there's not going to be any more AAA. There didn't seem like there was a whole lot there, and I think I took out what there was. There may still be a flak turret somewhere. Not sure where, though. You could ruin my day in a hurry. If I do get hit, uh, you basically right on the line, so you just bug north. You got a ditch, that's the way to do it. Interesting. 
up the wall. Alright, I see the target. And with my palm payload, it makes the most sense to come from north or south, probably. And I may try to be a little more specific with my bomb usage this time as well. Certainly, uh, my second pass last time was more effective at taking out the structure. But I think there are still quite a few structures in place. I want to take that out as much as I can. done it. 
Yeah, there we go. All right. Not the most efficient, no, but not bad. Challenge finding targets that aren't blown up already. Yeah, I would not be doing this canopy down if I didn't know that the area was clear. Thing. I'm kind of 
surprised there's enough here yet to count. Are you gonna fly? Hey, see, I am flying. Where? Loose deuce. <laughs> All alone. Oh, It's honestly that, uh, pro is, it, uh, is that still late war or what? No, it just went to plane set one, which is why I'm here. But nobody's, uh, nobody else is. It's literally yeah. just me. Just you. Yep. So I'm just ground strafing, and it's chill. <laughs> Depending on the time, maybe uh, I'll check time after this sortie, and if I've still got time for a sortie, I'll switch over. I'm testing out the A6. Oh, okay. Well, you're flying German anyway, I yeah, so. I don't really like flying the A8, so I'll see how different this one is. Gotcha. Are you in VR as well? Yeah. Do you ever notice how the, the world scale is just a little bit too small? Uh, for me, it's actually a little too big, I think. But you really? can but you can play with your IPD settings and dial it in so it feels right. I need to Where is that I at? need to do that. Um, I can't remember if there's anything in game. There might be, but at least you can go into the config settings and uh, and fiddle with it there. Oh, really? It's a little putsy, though, just because you got to fiddle with it, fire it up, see if it works. Yeah. I'm going to have to search that up. Yeah. The DCF scaling is, like, just right. And I, I always notice the 51 is a little bit bigger there. Okay, yeah, it's like the opposite for me. The DCS feels about right, but it's a tighter feeling cockpit. Yeah. In IO2, I can always, I feel like I can always touch the rudders with my hands. <laughs> Planes for kids. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> Yeah, then you look at pictures and see those guys and like shoulders are touching the sides of their plane. Yeah, that's the thing. I think the width is like just fine because my shoulders are literally up against the canopy. But it's just a rudder. I don't know if I'm just like tall or something. Oh, uh, maybe. I mean, guys back then can't be up too short. Yeah, I don't know. You look at some of these, though, I think they have adjustments as well that we just don't have access to, which is probably fine, but like you, there's some of the some of the things are on sliders that you could probably adjust to your height a little bit. Yeah. In, in real life. I don't know. I think back in that era, it's, it's like one size fits all. That's probably why the Air Force has height restrictions. <laughs> I had a friend who wanted to be an F-16 pilot, but they wouldn't let her because she was too short. And there was something to do with, like, the parachute or the eject system was, uh, was the reason. Yeah, the F-16 has adjustable seats. So, probably that. Everything nowadays are adjustable. Yeah. That's how they like it. Alright, that's a pretty good run. <laughs> we'll just bring that home and land it and call it a day, I think. <laughs> yep. Well, I single-handedly took out the German artillery. <laughs> nice. Not that hard when nobody's shooting at you. 
blue. You know what we can do in uh in in Finnish is one of us can fly Germans and one of us can fly allies. We'll meet up on like a grid, fly in formation, and just start bouncing people. <laughs> you know, like they'll get confused because they'll confuse the crap up. out of them. Yeah, they'll see you coming up, and then they see that you're like a P thirty eight or something. <laughs> so they'll look at you fly by, and then I come down and shoot them down. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> we we should do that someday, just just to see For the if it memes. Works. I'd be yeah, more down on like combat box. I don't care as much on combat box. Yeah, we can do that sometime. Uh, sounds good. For the memes! Get a little recording going and. Yeah. Get some nasty screenshots of allies and Germans flying together. Yep. We could make it Normandy themed and do like A6 and the uh, 47 D22. Yeah, exactly. If we really wanted to confuse them, we'd make custom like German skin for the 47 and the. <laughs> Allies skin for the one eye. That's going to turn this game into War Thunder, like literally. Yeah, maybe that's, that's too far. Yeah. That's what happens in War Thunder. Like, people buy those premium planes and then other people shoot them down and get banned for team killing. <laughs> Man. War Thunder was my start in the VR flight simming. The problem I had was that at least it seemed like you're pretty badly disadvantaged flying VR. Oh yeah. In uh, War Thunder, yeah. The M and K guys booming and zooming. I mean, unless you're flying simulator, I guess. Yeah, that's true. I I didn't do much with simulator, so maybe that would have been better. Yeah. Yeah, the reason why I quit planes in uh, War Thunder is because, like, the mouse guys can just, yeah. you know, get the mouse over you. Yeah. the joystick, you gotta have to fiddle with it. Yep. Which I'm actually kind of wondering why the Air Force didn't, like, develop that kind of thing. Just make it into a first-person shooter, right? <laughs> Like, the computer's flying the plane anyways. That's kind of true. Just put your cursor on where you want the nose to go. Yeah. Maybe the difference is you don't have the third-person view. <laughs> true. Or just... Yeah, yeah, that's kind of true. <laughs> actual actual fighter combat's more complicated than just turn and burn. Yeah. Well, especially I mean, now with all the fidgets. Yeah. I guess they do have that in a sense with the radar cursor. True. Just like on a target and hit a button. Yeah. It doesn't fly you, right? But it'll yeah. it flies your weapons, I guess. <laughs> yeah. That's the way to do it. Yeah. I'm uh, on final. Well, if you're flying A6, though, I I may just call it a night. All right. You coming up for the uh, fly out tomorrow night? That's a maybe. What are you guys flying? In? Hundredth is going in fifty ones. In combat box. Uh, no, Friday night flights. It's oh, back. Okay. So yeah, I guess there's a whole, the whole sign up thing.
kind of surprised, honestly. I thought more people would flip servers once it uh, went early war. Maybe, maybe people actually like late war finish. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of people on here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was just thinking, if you want late war, go combat box. This is kind of the only place where you can get a good early war multiplayer thing. Fly. Wings of Liberty. That's just kind of fly any old thing, in it? Yeah, kind of. So, sure, you can fly early war, but you'll probably get spanked. <laughs> mm-hmm. Flying the empty um, loose do server remind me of Finnish back in its early days, like a year ago. I'd go in there on Saturday mornings and it'd just be empty. <laughs> Not so much yeah. anymore. What did Combat Box do to lose all its patronage? That's a good question. I don't really know. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's two six twos. Maybe it's the uh, yeah. 50 cals. I remember playing with the 262s. It was kind of fun. That's what Straub says. I, I would just pray I can't on do it. Ones. I'm too chivalrous. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got like a half hour here, so I'll, I'll pop in and see if I can get a quick kill. Not telling you where I'm going, though. <laughs> <laughs> I know you could take me out. I'm missing all my shots today, though. Man, I uh, yesterday I was in solo for a little while. Spit 9. I got behind a HE uh, 111, and he just yeah. splintered in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't end too well. I was I was gunning and nothing seemed like it was happening, so I just kept putting bullets in and then it was all of a sudden like all of his pieces came off at once. Took out my prop. It was cool though. I did get shot down by um, Hoond, JSP Hoond, I think is his name. I think he was an old uh, 332nd guy, wasn't he? Who? Hoond, H-U-N-D. Oh, yeah, I remember him. Yeah. He was, like, creeping way on uh, friendly lines just by himself and yeah. um, caught me off guard. He didn't kill me, but shot me down. He's flown with Hundredth before. Yeah, I remember that. You remember if the Merlin 70 is good at high alt or low? I'm thinking it's high. That's high. Okay. I'm kind of surprised they don't give us any, uh, like, 150 grade for the Mark 9 in, in here. Because you guys have the G14 now. Oh, we do? Mm-hmm. We got the 150 grade on the P47s. <laughs> Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can get to the bomb target and get shot down faster.
Also, I just found out the 109 can outturn anything in the game. The <laughs> early ones. The later ones kind of suck. Uh, but like no. the F4, you, you kind of just mind the tactical egg. Mm -hmm. And like keep trimming up and keep putting in flaps. And you can just outturn anything in the game. Yikes, that doesn't seem right. Yeah, it doesn't, but it works. I bet you'd and still I have a hard time with a hurricane at low speed. Oh yeah, but the hurricane you can just power up and climb away. Yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> That's why on these plane sets, like, I still take the F4 over any of it, these. Oh, wow. That actually kind of surprises me. The 109s get slower as time goes on. Until, like, the K4, which is just a monster. I'm just waiting for my Spit 14. Let's yeah. go. I'm just waiting for my 50 cows to get fixed. You and a lot of other folks. I'm still kind of like on the fence, man. Because, I mean, I've seen those videos, so I guess it's hard to argue with that. But I just don't seem to have that much trouble taking things down with them. Yeah, it's gotten a little better now. But, like, it's still not really where it should be. Mm -hmm. I think it's just the problem with the AP belt. If they yeah. put an AP high, it's, it's going to be a lot better. Yeah. Maybe one day. Yeah. Until some then, people, RAF. <laughs> I think some people just forget the different play styles because the Germans, it's kind of like a one cap thing. Yeah. Low firing cannons, and if you get it, if you get a hit, you kind of fuck up. The enemy's plane. Yep. But like the 50 cows, you just kind of spray. Yep. And you have to hold it down. Yep. Yeah, and you want to think about convergence and range and all that. Yeah. So I've been um, practicing with the gyro sights a little bit. You know how they always uh -huh. kind of lag your movement a little bit? Yeah. Is that because the gyro's off and it's catching up or is that like compensating for slip uh it, it's just it's just catching up i'm pretty sure so okay. the gyro only works when you're in a steady uh steady turn i see okay so it does need some time to kind of settle yeah so on like fast deflection shots you can't trust that gotcha if there's any kind of acceleration you can't trust it I only use the gyros to range find. I don't really use it for anything else. Yeah. Which some of the, uh, or I guess even the standard RAF gun sight, you can range, you can range that one. Yeah. Which is pretty nifty. I should have put a mirror on. I wonder why the Germans didn't use mirrors. Well, I guess I never thought of that. Yeah, they have some not so great rear visibility. <laughs> yeah.
I'm gonna be mad if you hunt me down and bounce me. <laughs> I don't even know where you're at. Yeah. But I'll be looking for Spitfire, I guess. Let's keep it that way. Maybe I just told you I'm in a Spitfire, so you'll shoot down the wrong guy. Ooh. Getting tricky. Ooh. And maybe I'm in a 109 F4. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think I could uh, tell the difference anyway. Yeah. I just saw someone get clapped. Well, it wasn't me. Not yet. I fly pretty safe when I'm flying solo, though. Yeah. Does that mean I have to climb higher? It means whatever you want it to mean. As long as it means you don't shoot me. <laughs> Spotting along the ground is still atrocious. Can't see anything. Yeah, that does get pretty pretty brutal. I need you to keep talking so I don't get nervous. <laughs> well, he's, he's awfully quiet. Is he above me? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know, this might be you. Oh, shoot. I think you're just messing with me now. You just turn? No. So I should be good. Yeah. Kill him. <laughs> no point in chasing him anymore then. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> what? Burn a little time. You don't have to find me. This map feels big. I think it's just because I'm used to that last one that was so tiny. Yeah. I spotted somebody. Hadn't seen anybody yet until that.
Very tough to ID though. Man, I need to turn chat off. I say that every time I come in here. Ooh. P38 behind me just got clapped. Oof. He's following me for quite a while. Poor lad. What? I said the poor lad. Yeah, he got what he deserved. <laughs> Nobody deserves that. No, he did. <laughs> P-38s are pretty easy to clap, though. <laughs> yeah, they are. It's really unfortunate. Unless maybe you're Hank. Yeah, he's pretty good with them. You gotta be really careful with that. Yeah. Gunner AI, have mercy on me. Maneuver. So you guys are just sitting in a chat together, not saying nothing. Yeah. That's kind of how we roll. Eggnog. Yo. Do you have a P-51 in DCS? Negative. You want it? Eh. I mean, not really. I'm I'm happy enough with the one in aisle two. Well, I was in the chat yesterday. We were talking about that. And a lot of guys in the group are wanting to move on for mile two. Not move on, they just want to put it on par. Let me say yeah. That. Yeah, I've uh, I've heard plenty of that. Um, the big thing is obvious reasons. The gameplay is inaccurate and not fair. Um, A lot of people want to dabble or attempt DCS. So yeah. I was uh, looking at some of the guys who I've seen that have been helping out since I've been gone. And your name came up, so there's a couple of guys I was going to gift some stuff to, and you were one of them. Well, that's pretty you, generous. Is, is your system not powerful enough to run DCS? No, it, it can run DCS just fine. I have to say, you sound like you have money. You don't talk like <laughs> you don't talk like one of us four people over here. I'm just kidding. But um, but no, it's a it's a thank you to you, Shavinsky, Friedrich, others. Um, I can't get anything for C because he's rich and has it. He's already, <laughs> <fine. Aww>. <laughs> <laughs> already got it all. <laughs> wow, but I'm, I'm looking to try to move some of you guys over um, because to be honest with you and I'll shorten up what I said yesterday but uh, a lot of the guys agreed with me um, that's why I asked for you to come on because I was going to ask you if you had uh, any, anything on DCS uh, I got but, um, but um, you know our, 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 the way our, our, our group is set up I think uh, we've done a really good job, like the original 
uh, guys like see myself and stuff of getting people like us to all be in the same group that all like the same type of thing they all have the same common type of personality you know, people that like good comms you know historical flying and just aviation sims the, you know the way we all like you know what I mean yeah with with the op orders and the comms and stuff and then I I think that DCS fits our group and our persona more so than I was. I mean, you got to think about it. Half the fun of DCS is the fact that we're spending so much time in formation and maintaining systems of the aircraft. Uh huh. And then on top of that, the combat and the um, and the. Uh, The combat and the uh, damage model are way better than Al2, and, and I'm not or than Al2. I'm not even exaggerating. <laughs> I was C gonna say, probably, wait, what? C could probably C could probably um, attest to that. Yeah, I picked up the, um, oh, what is the Sabre. That's been pretty fun to, pretty fun to learn and fly. But what are you doing, what are you doing, uh, what are you guys doing right now? Are you guys both in altitude? Yeah, I'm about, once I touch down, I'm, uh, headed off for bed, but, uh, but I'm around. You know me. I know. Well, I'll be on, I, I started today, I played for like an hour earlier, I'm gonna play for... We're going one flight now. I, I don't have a right leg, so <laughs> that makes hard. it that I'm makes it tough. There's no right rudder. <laughs> yeah. No, I got rudder. There's no right brake at all. Like there's seriously no right brake. I've got to find a button for right brake. <laughs> like I really don't have right brake. So I'm thinking about using this uh, thing right here in my right brake. Well, I don't have a right toe brake here. Well, hey, well tell me what you do. I just use my paddle switch. Wow. <laughs> that's actually pretty yeah. impressive to me. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, that sounds really hard. Okay. I guess if it's just your toe break. Hey, uh, can one of you guys, uh, if you if you got time, can one of you guys stream real fast? I want to show another one of these guys uh, the, the game. Uh, I'm in VR. Yeah, I'm in VR as well. I actually am streaming, but it's a private stream, so you won't see it till it's after afterward. Oh, what, you got, what you got old private stream for? <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> reasons. Uh, somebody gets in here and starts whining about the 50 cows again. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I don't need to hear it. I get it. Dude. <laughs> you really, you really need to, you really need to um, share the stream with the group and let the group like have a code or whatever, so we can support your stream if it's on YouTube. Oh, it's uh, I, I, I unprivate it after it's live. I put timestamps in and throw it out there. Um, so it's it's out there. Every now and then I'll post a link to it. Jesus, this is gonna be expensive. I'm spend about hundred dollars more. What's that? I, I told a couple of people I'm gonna get them some stuff. I was I was looking. I was putting it in my cart now. Oh, you sure get it on a sale. I might, I, might, I might buy it now. Is, is DCS on a sale right now? No. Oh, we'll wait for a sale. Yeah, wait for a sale at I least. Oh. Wanna... No. <laughs> <laughs> Mustang's like 50, 60 bucks on its own, isn't it? Yeah. Just wait for a sale. Don't make promises until a sale. <laughs> Put that on a shirt. Yeah. See, see, are you getting off or are you going to stay on for a little bit? I'm on for a little bit. I'm hunting uh, eggnog right now. Sorry, eggnog's RTB. I chased a 110 like pretty deep into German lines and I was like, this ain't worth it. I'm going home. <laughs> so, what the? What, hey, what's it, Strap? Strap! <laughs>
<laughs> Maybe I'll play some more thunder. I don't need to tell right now. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I'm on final C, so you may as well give up. Wow, shame. I know, I gotta get to bed. I had that 110, but he uh, saw me and pulled off real hard, and I knew if I let him get behind me, it was game over, so I just ran. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't about to get in a turn fight with him. I've died to too many 110s that way. Hey, Strav. Hey. You're late. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. That's all right. I spent a, a good probably hour alone in the Loose Deuce server. <laughs> like, alone. Like, nobody in the server at all. No. Did you, did, no, did you like, um, crap on it? Yeah. Did, did you get, like, one shot? No. <laughs> I did. Where's the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, that was pretty sad. Pretty sad to hear. Dude, Where it was the... like the most frustrating sort of vault of like all my life. <laughs> oh, here's looking for one. Yeah. Just that. Fucking 20 minutes like to the target. Freaking quiet as fuck. Like nothing happening. The whole freaking sortie. I get to the target. I know there's a station um, a bit more south. And like... There's literally nobody around. I've got two targets, like, for, for me. And I get over there, get one shot by the fucking flag. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> one fucking bullet in the head, and I crashed. Man. At least you weren't, like, on a really long streak or something. You're on a, you're on a dying streak instead of a killing Yeah, I, wa I was... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was intending of breaking that that momentum, but yeah. no. Nope. Seems like the game decided um, uh -huh. it, uh, it would it would go another way. Well, if we believe, buddy, if we switch to DCS, all our problems will go away. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I think that it will. I, I I'm saying I'm saying that I I think that it'll fit. I I, I even thought this. I even thought this before, like, cause I, I honestly, to be honest with you, I thought this issue would have been fixed to be totally honest with you. I thought it would have been fixed by like October and November. I thought the complaining and bitching would have made them, uh, want to fix it. I'm surprised they didn't. So I thought this when I thought they were going to fix it and we were still going to be in, in mm -hmm. aisle two. Yeah. But, I mean, DCS is it's just, I, I could be on for two and a half, three hours, and it'd literally be one, maybe two flights. And I feel totally, like, uh, satisfied. Like, mm -hmm. when you sit down and eat a good meal. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's not, um, it's not Call of Duty-esque, like, <laughs> or, or Battlefield. Like where it's like you're you're I'm respawning I'm respawning mm -hmm. and, and and you're constantly like we're doing so many different maps but the, it feels in aisle two and this is to me if it doesn't feel this way to you then agree you, you could disagree but to me it feels repetitive in aisle two this map you go here that map you go there you know that we got to go to where the combat is whereas in DCS. It's kind of like, you know, there's a mission plan. You read the mission plan. Everybody's reading the mission plan. You go, you try to bomb a target. You go do an, uh, you go do an intercept mission or cover bombers. I mean, it's, it's, you're always occupied with doing something. I mean, like I said yesterday, you can have seven total people on three on one team, four on the other, and it literally feels like it's 20 versus 20 or 30 versus 30 on aisle two. That's interesting. It, it it's just it's it doesn't mean that you're encountering more people. It's just that you don't have to um, go over the whole map to just 
get to, to get a fight. Mm -hmm. It feels less stale playing the same map over and over again than it does playing different maps on Al2. It, it's just that that's just that's my point of view. On top of it, if you do crave for something else like Saber, you know, you got guys that want to fly the Saber and MiG. If you do, you know, want to do modern jets, you got guys that are doing modern jets. If you do want to do helicopters, you got guys that are doing helicopters. Then they have this thing that I've been watching on YouTube since I've been hurt. They have these combined arm conflicts on on uh, for the modern air, air stuff. Mm -hmm. That shit is so cool. Like, you can be in a fucking, uh, on the ground. You can be in the air. And it's like this big ongoing war. Mm 